Hi, my name is Maggie Craig, and this is the basic message of prayer. When you are baptized, you are officially brought into the Christian religion. Did you know the word religion comes from the same word that means relationship? religion is all about. Religion is not about a series of rules to follow. Religion is about a person to encounter, and that person's name is God. God wants to be in a relationship with you. Not a relationship of slavery, manipulation, of making you miserable and feeling stuck. That's not what God wants. God wants to be in a relationship of love with you. Communication is a big part of good, healthy relationships. And religion is about being in a relationship with God. And communication with God is called prayer. If you want to get in shape, if you want to be strong, if you want to be fit, you have to exercise and you eat right. That's how it works. If you want to have a relationship with God, if you want to hear him in your life, and if you want to know what he's saying, you have to pray. That's how it works. People in my life whose relationships I value the most, I talk to them as often as possible. Like my family and friends, I talk with them every day. Same thing with me and God. I value that relationship. I set aside time to pray and to communicate with him every day. With the people in life that you're closest to, when you talk to them, you talk about anything. You talk about everything. You talk about the really basic stuff like how your day was and your weird dreams and your favorite kind of sandwich. But you also talk to them about the deep stuff. You get vulnerable, you get real about your hopes and dreams and wishes and stuff like that. Same with us and God. When we talk with God, when we communicate with God, we want to share with him the basic stuff about our day and the things going on, but we also want to share the deep stuff. We want to be honest, we want to be vulnerable. So in prayer, you talk to God, but in prayer, you also have to listen. So often when we go to prayer, we sometimes can just shout at God and then end the prayer and God hasn't even had a chance to get a word in. Through prayer, we have to listen. We have to give God a chance to speak because he does want to speak. He has so much he wants to say to us about how he loves us, about who we are, about who he is, about your mission and purpose and identity. And we're not going to hear those things unless we listen. So in your relationships with your family and friends, in-person hangouts are the best. That's the most fun. But there's also other ways you can communicate. You can FaceTime, you can call, you can text, you can send memes and videos. Same thing with us and God. The best form of prayer, the best form of communication are in-person hangouts through the sacraments, where we visibly and tangibly receive the love of God and be with him face to face. But there's also other great ways to communicate with God. Silence, praying through scripture, praying the rosary, praise and worship, appreciating truth, beauty, and goodness whenever we see it, these are all great ways to pray with God, but they can never replace the best way to pray, which is in-person hangs through the sacraments. We don't pray to change God's mind. It's not like God is a vending machine and our prayers are little quarters. And if we give God enough quarters of prayers, he'll give us a candy bar. That's not how it works. We don't pray to change God's mind. We pray to change our hearts, to open our hearts to the mystery of God and all that he is and the life that is found with him. We pray to deepen that relationship that we have with God. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. As always, there's so much more to say about this, but this has been the basic message. Of prayer. <laughs>